Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Here's the lesson. Oh, boy, great. Oh, just what I hoped for. I'm so hungry. Oh, yes. Mmm. Sandwich. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Oh. Oh, salt. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm, good. Oh. Oh, great. So much better. This is, this is right. This is what it should be. Fabulous. Hello. Today we're going to talk about salt. And what did Jesus mean when he said, you are the salt of the earth? Well, hmm. One. And two. Jesus meant one, you and me, like salt, we are meant to help and aid and bless others. You know, people need to hear God's word. People need to see faith in action. People need God in their lives. So like salt, our purpose is to have a good influence. Just like salt makes a lifeless sandwich come alive, we should add ourselves and our love of Jesus to when we're together with friends and family. Be the salt. Share God's love. Aid people in knowing Jesus by telling them what you've learned from the Bible. And influence them to be good by your good behavior that they will see. So. Be salt to others, faith sandwich. And two, understand when Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, he meant you, regular people, people caring about God. You are of great worth. You are valuable. You are the light that shines for the world to see. You are like a city built on a hill that cannot be hidden. As believers in Jesus, you stand out. Jesus also said, people don't hide a lamp under a bowl. They put it on a lampstand. Then the light shines for everyone in the house. So be a light to other people. You and I, we care about being God-pleasing. We seek God's approval. As we are gentle and honest and helping and loyal and hardworking and blessings to others, we're really valuable and we have a valuable purpose from God to share his love. When Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, everybody should know he's speaking of God's love, how much God loves us, how much God values us. All this encouragement, right? All these beautiful words. Well, let's apply God's word to ourselves now. It's simple, again, A and B. A, we're meant to bless others by sharing our faith, by being a light. And B, we can do it because God has told us we're valuable and our faith has a purpose. So what do you think? What now? Should we be honest and helpful, patient, kind, giving and forgiving once in a while, or in constant faith? Should we always try to act to please God? Oh, that's a simple and easy to remember guide. Always try to please God. In this way, we are like Jesus said, we are the salt of the earth. As Christians, we're a blessing. We're the salt of the earth. Well, that sounds a little funny these days, but truthfully, it's a really amazing mission from our loving God. Thank you, Lord. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads to pray. Dear God, thank you for your word that guides us to please you 
and gives us encouragement. It is an honor to be called the salt of the earth, and we should remember to do our best to be that salt that helps others know you. May we remember to look to you throughout our lives in faith, always trusting in your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, go out, have a beautiful day, and be the salt. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Please like Kids Church and subscribe to our channel to keep learning more about Jesus. Here's the music. Here's the music. Here's the music. <laughs>
You are like a city built on a hill that cannot be hidden. People don't hide a lamp under a bowl. They put it on a lampstand. Then the light shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, you should be a light for other people. Live so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. This is the word of the Lord. God's blessings. God's blessings. God's blessings.